how the individual ballots of all the judges have been turned into the teller and they're being collated and tabulated and counted and when that's done we'll have the name of 1960s Miss Universe. Now you've seen them all, all the delegates from these 15 countries who are the finalists. Who do you think is going to be Miss Universe of 1960? It's as hard to predict this Miss Universe pageant as it is to predict the winner of the Democratic National Convention in California next week. But you know, political reporters, when they predict the outcome of an election, like to look at the form. Now, we can do that here, and in more ways than one. But if you look back at the past Miss Universe contest since 1952, you'll find that in the first few years, it was dominated by Scandinavian girls. Miss Finland won the first one, and Miss Sweden won an early one. Now, there's only one girl from Scandinavia. That's the delegate from Norway today. The next three years belong to the South Americans. Miss Peru was a winner, Miss Colombia was a winner, and tonight in the 15 uh, finalists there are Miss Colombia and Miss Brazil. Let's, uh, last year of course, Miss Japan won it. Perhaps that would start an oriental trend. And interestingly enough, there is another delegate from Japan and a delegate from Korea this time. Two of them perhaps confirming the trend of international appreciation of oriental beauty. Uh, some more facts, perhaps, from the form, the record of the past, the statistics on the yardstick of the past. The only country which has twice had a Miss Universe is the United States, and Miss USA is a finalist again today. The other winner, besides those I've mentioned, was Miss France. Now, Miss France didn't get into the finals today, much to the distress of some of the audience, among whom she was a popular favorite. Let me think what other statistics I can give you uh, to help you, or perhaps it won't help you because it's in the hands of the judges, decide who might be the finalists. The girls are getting a little taller. The tallest girl is Miss Grease. They're getting a little older. I think Miss Grease is a little older one. But if you were to ask me, not for what it's worth, as to who might be the favorites, I would think Miss Brazil, perhaps, Miss Austria, Miss Italy, Miss Spain, certainly, Miss Switzerland. I would think that they would probably be among the favorites, among those most likely. Miss Israel, I left her out because she certainly uh, is not only extremely attractive, she's a great favorite of the crowd. Don't know what the judges will think of her. But all of these girls have been going through these various events all week long. They've been going in and out of, out of costumes and contests. They've been walking down the runway, down the ramp. And finally, it's been narrowed down from 40-odd American girls and 40-some European and Asiatic and Near Eastern girls to these 15 uh, that we see here on the board. There they are, and you'll have to make your own guess because we're going to find out in just a minute. The delegates from Austria, from Brazil, from Charles, Colombia. Excuse me, okay. but I noticed that Arthur Godfrey is now chatting with Akiko Kojima, the reigning Miss Universe, Lucky who man. will very shortly participate in crowning the new Miss Universe. Let's eavesdrop, shall we? So, we're going to... Ichi ni san shi go roku shishi hachi kyuju. How many times can I count to ten? How many times can I tell you how lovely you are? How many times can I say I feel fine? How do you feel? <laughs> That's the whole trouble, you see. I know three, four words in Japanese, and then I am dead. But now, Akiko-san will go on this beautiful throne with her crown, and she will go out there and crown the new Miss Universe. And then afterward, will you please bring her back to me, and I will talk with her in this seat, eh? Mm -hmm. Akiko-san. Oh, arigato. Bye-bye. Sayonara. Well, I see that the 15 finalists have changed back into their evening gowns, Charles, for the grand finale, the crowning of Miss Universe of 1960. And by the way, George DeWitt is standing by, waiting for the judge's decision. And now here is Lee Phillip, a gal who knows a few things about beauty contests herself. Right now, all the Miss Universe contestants are going through the most nerve-wracking experience of their lives, which reminds me of the days when I used to enter beauty contests. 
Now, it's been a few years, and I've judged at least a hundred of them since then, so I know how nervous these girls must be. And here's where they start to get the butterflies in the tummy. Yes, here in the dressing rooms, where the girls spend hours choosing their gowns, accessories, making up. And did you ever see so much war paint? Of course, they must be absolutely meticulous in their grooming. And so I'm not at all surprised to find so many girls have discovered this product, New Ice Blue Secret, the deodorant that keeps underarms cool, calm, and dry, even when you're not. And you can be sure that these girls are anything but calm. And that's why Secret's such a help, because in all the hustle and bustle, they can at least forget about the worry of perspiration and odor. But Secret is the most effective deodorant you can buy. Now, maybe you'll never enter a beauty contest, but we all have moments of nervousness and tension. Moments when we really need a deodorant that will keep us cool, calm, and dry, even when we're not. And that deodorant is new ice blue secret. Look for it in this display, now at your favorite store. Try new ice blue secret, cream or roll-on.